Y'all ready for another episode in this series? this episode, we're hitting the kiddos' bedrooms and doing a mama deep clean in here. In the last video, I cleaned my bedroom. And I just put that one bedroom in one video for a reason because it was absolutely ridiculous. While I was in the comments, because I try to be in the comments as much as I can when the video first goes live. And then I'll pop up here and there throughout the next couple of days to get to people who I normally wouldn't get to. I like to like pop in at surprise time so maybe I can see your comment if I don't really normally see your comment. So during the first part when I was in the comments when the video first went live, I noticed a lot of people were talking about how they think that I would do a lot better if my family helped me. And a lot of blame was being pushed over to the kids and stuff. Most of it wasn't in a negative way. It was just a um, assumption, I guess you could say, because I don't show my kids clean on here. I never have and I never will. Some of it was more negative, but not any just really mean comments. Those comments were kind of funny though, because those comments were left on my bedroom, which my kids have nothing to do with. So if you don't know, or if you're new here, uh, my kids have zones. My kids used to struggle really, really, really badly with keeping their rooms clean. If you go back two years ago, you can look on my channel and see where I was cleaning huge messes in their bedrooms. It was a disaster. In two years, my kiddos have improved so much and they are blowing me out of the ballpark. When I tell you guys it's a me problem, I'm not just saying that. Like as Taylor Swift said, hey, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> like I really am. My kiddos keep their zones cleanish for the most part not clean enough to appease most people but clean enough to appease me way cleaner than i keep my zones it really is a me problem at this point and the evidence shows that let's look at my room real quickly how it started out before i tackled it this is what my room looks like when i went to tackle it it was extremely bad this is my bedroom my master bedroom and this is my boys room you can see the floor in here they've got everything where they know it's at I mean, it doesn't, it looks messy because there's too much and too little bins, but they know where everything is at. It's way cleaner and tidier than my room was. I could learn a thing or two from them. You guys saw the kiddos bathroom in my bathroom video in this series. It wasn't that bad either. That's their zone. My zones are the master bedroom and the main living area and my bathroom. And I struggle with those. <laughs> I struggle real time with those. So my kiddos could teach me some stuff. It's funny how I've taught them throughout the past two years to do better. But I haven't really led by example. They've really just taken my struggles and kind of did everything by themselves. They're rock stars. They really are. I have the best kiddos in the world. So it doesn't need much like cleaning, surface cleaning in here today. It needs a lot of deep cleaning because I haven't been in here in a while to clean it because I haven't needed to be. I do want to get back into the rhythm of getting in here once a month and like dusting and vacuuming and stuff like that because I haven't been doing that lately because to the eyes it looks clean. But of course in the corners and stuff, it's going to it's gonna need some work because it hasn't had work done to it in a while. So while I don't have to do surface level cleaning in here, I do need to do a lot of deep cleaning. I do need to wash most of the bedding. I've already started washing some of the bedding. I need to wash more though. I'll probably go through this stuff right here. I'm going to be changing around their storage a little bit. A uh, while back, I started using their closet specifically for toys because that's what our struggle was in here. And then I started using their dresser for their clothes. But let me show you what it looks like in here with the dresser. You guys can see like there's not a whole lot of room. The dresser takes up a lot of room. It even like goes and gets in that little shelf bubble. So I'm thinking about getting rid of the dresser. I don't know because that is what I keep their clothes in. And if I did get rid of that then I would have to start storing them in this again. And then we'd have to find a happy medium with those toys. Those are all of Colton's toys, his prized possessions. And some of Cammie's toys in the bottom. And then a lot of Cammie's toys that he plays with every single day is right there. Colton mainly plays his video game every single day, so it's right there. But Cammie plays with those every single day of his life. So I keep them out so he can easily get them and not have to rummage through the closet to find what he wants to play with. I don't want to get rid of the dresser and I do want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it because it does give me a place to store the clothes. And I'm trying to figure out what 
would be the better option like what would be the most realistic like should i get rid of it to add more space into here like more actual playable space or should i keep it because it stores something even though it takes up a lot of room i don't really know what to do in that situation colton has mentioned it takes up a lot in his room which is why i even started to think about getting it out of here because it hasn't been in here very long it's probably been in here maybe a year i found it at a thrift store for super cheap and i thought that would be a better way to store their clothes than the closet because they needed the closet space for the toys so so I don't know what we'll end up doing. I know we're doing something in here different with the beds. I have to squeeze my booty to get in here. Like it's super, <laughs> super narrow. So we're figuring up something. Shane and I are figuring up. We're kind of, I'm kind of designing a bed system that I think would work better in here because the rooms are really, really small. I'm trying to come up in my mind with something that gives us room and doesn't take up more room than these, but are still big enough for them to use because they're not small like the girls. They're much older, so they need actual twin size beds. The girls are eight years old. They're small. That's all they need to sleep on. They've been loving those beds. My boys, there's no way they would fit on those beds. No way they would fit on there comfortably. So I have to come up with a way that I can pretty much get a standard size twin in here, two of those. Maybe just cut down a little bit like on the width wise not long wise but width wise i may get be able to get away with that i don't know i've just got to kind of play with it and have my boys test them out and see what they're comfortable on like i did with the girls that's how we came up with the size for the girls beds is we let them lay on them and test them out and tell us how big they want them so i've been sort of designing and just kind of like brainstorming ways i can do a bed system in this room I had a couple comments ask why i refuse to move from here and get a bigger house well i know my kiddos are growing and they're growing quickly and space is very very limited this is our home my main goal in life is to be debt free completely because Shane and I had no choice but to live in a single wide in this trailer we've made it something that we absolutely love but we didn't have a choice it, it was the last straw kind of thing we couldn't afford nothing we were in a very very bad spot so we didn't have a choice but to live here. I continue to live here because I want my kids to have a choice. I want them to have a choice about where they will live. And the more money I save by making Shane and I debt free, the more money I can put into helping them get what they want and start them out at a level that Shane and I didn't get to start out at. That is my main goal. We can always work with space. You've got families of 10 out here on YouTube living in a motor home. I mean, <laughs> space is space is something that you can really make the most of if you have a good organization uh, method and stuff like that. I don't right now, but I'm learning. I do in some areas of my home. I'm just learning um, what works best for us. And getting rid of stuff is playing a big part in making more space in our home. I grew up in mobile homes. My room was very small. There were sometimes two, three, four people in a room at a time. So it's not the end of the world. It's normal around here. I don't know. In Tennessee it is. I don't know if it is in other places, but it's normal for a full-fledged family to live in a single wide mobile home. There's a lot of mobile homes in my area. It's a majority of it is mobile homes and a lot of those mobile homes are single wide. So it's not anything weird around here to have a big family in a small single wide. Mine is a 16 by 80. So it is one of the more larger single wides but you've got people out here in like 14 by 60s and stuff and they have huge families and they get along just fine because they found what works for them i'm definitely not going to go get a huge mortgage and not going to get a big old house payment just so i can give us room for now because at some point my kiddos are going to be grown and they're going to be out of here i wish they would stay with me forever and they might i don't know it's always an option for them but they'll spend more time out of my home than they will in my home and those are the years I want to take account for and think about in the future because I know what it was like not having a choice about where I lived and it was really hard and while it was a good life lesson and I learned to love it here and I wouldn't trade this mobile home for anything in the world. You could literally walk up to me and hand me a two-story house and I would say no thank you. <laughs> I really would. Like you could tell me right now somebody out there could say Marina I bought you this three-story house and I would say no thank you because I love my home. This is I made this my home. Every bit of work I've put into here means so much more than just the decor side of me. It means so much more than content on here. It means so much more than that. It's what I've done, what we've done, Shane and I, have done to our home. That makes it special to us. All the memories in here and stuff. You can't buy those kind of memories. So today we're going to be focusing on just maximizing as much space as we can. And maybe later on, not in this video, maybe later on we'll figure out what we're going to do with this. If you guys have any suggestions in the comments, I'd be so grateful for them. Because I really am torn on what to do in that situation. There's both pros and cons to both of the options. And I just don't know what to do. I know what my boys want 
me to do, but I also gotta think about what's better for them in regards to like storage. Cause kiddos, sometimes they don't see storage, they just see space. <laughs> We're not touching the closets today. Like I said, there's two more episodes left in the series. This is one of them. This is the kiddos' bedrooms. And then the next episode is gonna be all of the closets in the house. And then we'll be done with our spring deep cleaning. And I'm so excited. If you're wondering why I have my hair in this like Ma Ingles thing, if you're over on Instagram, you know. You know why I have it in this Ma Ingles do right now. I've been playing around with my hair and I was trying to freshen it up a little bit and it got a little bit out of control. I almost went and got a straw hat to wear on here, but it's really rainy outside today and I thought I'd look kind of funny wearing a straw hat in my house. <laughs> but yeah, we were going to unlock a new level of Fearfully Created over here. Farmer Fe Fearfully Created the Farmer. My name's Fearfully Created. I like baked potatoes. <laughs> It is, it's, it's a process and I've, I've literally got it up right now because I don't want to mess with it for a couple of days. I'm letting it rest. So if I look weird, if my hair looks weird in the next few videos, just know it's a process and it may end up looking fantastic. Nine times out of ten it's going to just turn out mediocre. <laughs> but it may end up looking fantastic. It may be a total opposite. Instagram was cracking up though with me. I got 500 shades of blonde in my hair. They're all gorgeous, but there's 500 of them. All right, let's do the day on thing. The more I look at myself, the more I'm seeing an orange tabby cat on my head. It looks so bad. But listen, I'm trying to save a dollar because every dollar that I saved from not going to the hair salon this month, I'm putting towards my outdoor building. I need that more than I need my hair done. I want my hair done, so that's why I'm playing with it. But when it comes to it, I want the storage building more than I care about how my hair looks at this point. So we're thriving as an orange tabby cat right now. I'm clearing off the bed. This top bunk has been through the ringer. It's a lot of spills. Cammy likes his nighttime snacks apparently, but it has old soda stains. It has paint on it. It's been drawn on. We've had it a long time. It's the mattress that we've had in our house the longest, so it, it needs a lot of work. I'm clearing everything off of this top bunk because I'm going to be washing down this mattress and I'm also going to be moving the bed, so I'm using the dresser, which is already covered, as my dugout in this video, but it's working for me.
In the first little bit of this video, I'm using my normal vinegar, Dawn, and hot water stuff in my carpet cleaner. But I run out of vinegar, so I end up just using extra laundry detergent in it for the other part, the other half of the video. And it worked really good, and it smelled so good, too. One thing I do want to talk to my kiddos about is paying attention to detail and I don't expect much from them because I know how much I struggle with that as an adult. So I don't expect immaculate clean rooms, but I do want them to try with me because I'm trying to, to pay more attention to detail, like little pieces of trash along the wall and along the beds and around the perimeter of the room. It's always a lot in these rooms as well as my room too. So that's something I want to work on as like a family, both of us together is paying attention to detail. I am so confident that they'll be able to master that before I can, because you can tell like they've already mastered keeping their space cleaner than I have been keeping mine cleaner. Like they've mastered that over me. So at the beginning of the video, when I was talking about that, I never feel like I have to explain myself with you guys. I, I've never felt that way. A lot of times you guys will be like, Marina, you don't have to explain yourself. And I know that I want to explain myself because I like I said a majority of the questions and the comments I got they weren't mean they weren't hateful they were just like inquiring basically and I respect you all enough to want to explain it you know what I mean like tell you guys and I talk about the same stuff that I would with an in-person friend because to me you really are friends so whenever I talk about things like that it's never because I feel like I need to explain myself it's never because I, I feel attacked or anything no negative comments do not bother me they never have and they never will I'm basically here till you want to be friends that's how I feel be here to hate me hate me if you want to but I'm here waiting until you want to be friends that's all I'm waiting for so I never feel the need to explain myself I like to talk to you guys I like to tell you how I feel so if there's been a subject in the last video's comments that I want to talk about then I'll talk about it and if I don't I don't and I get a lot of assumptions because I don't talk about certain things I'm just never here to plead a case for me like I feel like my character will do that for itself so I talk when I want to and I don't when I don't whoo this is the first load I gotta go through this feels like 
a lot. This is a little bit overwhelming. So I'm just going to start tossing things I know that they don't get played with. And then I'll let the kiddos proof the toss bag before it gets out of here. And they can exchange it for something that I kept if they would rather keep it rather than something else. But y'all, I think my britches has got just a little bit looser while working on this room. I've been sweating so much. And I'm like, bring it on. Every inch counts. But this shirt, I'm going to be wearing a two-piece this summer. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Baywatch. Like, look at this sweat. Woo! Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down? Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets? Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay Containers, these little bins at Ollie's for three bucks. Look how cute they are too. I thought they'd be good for like a little, their little tiny figurines like those. Thought they'd be good for Cammy's little figurines. And then I found this two pack at Ollie's for ten bucks, and it's about the size of those. Actually, they may be a little bit bigger. And I thought that these, since those are for Colton stuff that are out here, then these could be for Cammy stuff that stay out here. This is where we're at right now <laughs> doesn't look like a whole lot of progress but it's progress i am sitting down on recently washed carpet so my butt is soaking wet like you could wring it dry at this point but it's okay it need to be washed anyway <laughs> ain't nobody can say i didn't wash my tail today now i've just went through and i've organized and decluttered all the boys little toys that are out here i'll get to the closet ones when i get to the closet but i went through and decluttered all the ones i didn't think that they would like in here and they can go back and look and if they want to exchange something they can but i highly doubt they will because i know what they play with and i know what they like and so i kept those things and then the things i haven't seen them play with in a while or they haven't even got out in a while I just tossed it I'm holding on if almost gone someday I know I finally make it through the gates just have to wait you whisper to me I 
I had a butt print on the back of my pants, the pajama pants, for the rest of the night because of sitting in that carpet that had just been cleaned. If I could go back, I would wait to clean the carpet last of all. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but if I could go back, I would, if I could go back, I would do that. I'm kind of playing Tetris. That's what I do in each of my rooms because of the small space and a lot of stuff. I have to move things around and play Tetris in order to clean behind stuff. It's frustrating, but once you get in the groove of it, it, it doesn't bother me once I'm in the groove. So we're gonna scoot this back over there in that corner and then we're gonna pull out this dresser. Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a Shane came to the rescue. He helped me pull out this dresser because it is so stinking heavy. And then he actually cleaned out back behind it so I could vacuum it. And then while he was doing that, I was going through the drawers and going through the clothes and decluttering what I wanted to get rid of and what didn't fit the boys anymore and kind of just rearranged it and making Colton aside and Cammie aside. Maybe it's cause we are. Got time and we're wasted. Got no plans for the night. Pick up the pieces. 
places that we left unsaid I know the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing with one I'm organizing all of their little game system accessories in this bucket right here as well as their chargers and stuff and I'm going to keep it and minimal things on top of this dresser because I feel like if this dresser looks cluttered the whole entire room looks cluttered. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of like it is Some of these are costumes, but costumes still count as clothes. I think we're at like 203 or 205 pieces so far in this series. So let's go with 203 because I know that for sure. 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, and 213. 213. Okay, so this is what's leaving the boys' room. We've got a game, it's a broken uh, game room sign, a bin of toys, two bags of toys, and a bag of trash. And half of another bag of trash, but that trash bag's gonna move on to the girls' room because I know I need it in there. Not too bad though. I mean, two bags of toys and a whole bin of toys back here. That's pretty daggone good. Boys got freshly cleaned bedding. Have this feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I can't fight it My head's underwater, I try to disguise it Want you to hold me On to the girls room
quickly going through these bins and just straightening them up luckily the girls had them pretty much straightened they had everything in its home and where it's supposed to go but i did have to change up a few things like some doll clothes were in the wrong bin and stuff like that but not a whole lot i was really really impressed with how well they kept this organized because if i'm not mistaken i haven't been in here to mess with these drawers since the makeover which was in january we've only got one more episode in this series left for this playlist that i've ran throughout this entire series i'm kind of going to miss these songs but kind of ready for new ones too so get one good last listen because i'd say after this next last video in the series with the closets i say we won't hear these songs for a while on here I got the top of this cleared off and everything fixed. All those have been went through. I didn't have to do a whole lot to it. Just had to like tidy up and change a few things because some garbage clothes was in the wrong bin. But not too many, so it wasn't that bad. I was, I was expecting it to be way, way worse. But the girls have been doing good with that, putting it in the right bins. I think it helps to have the color-coded ones because we go by different things with the gray and the floral and the pink. But also, all you gotta do is pull it out and see a majority of what it is, so it's easy to find the home for things. So that's working awesome. Not gonna mess with these yet until the bedding gets done washing. I'm gonna make my way over here and work on underneath the bed.
I'm getting rid of a ton of shoes because every time I tell my girls to get their shoes on and let's get out the house, they're always like, Mama, we don't have shoes. And I found I don't know how many pairs of shoes stuffed in the very, very back of these cubby holes back behind their Barbie boxes. No shoes, my foot. Maybe no matches because you can't find all your shoes, but no shoes, my foot. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. Look how the shoes we're getting rid of. <laughs> oh yeah. Getting rid of some K Swisses, some little faux Ugg boots, um, Walmart shoes, Pumas, Juicy shoes. Literally, they're going by. See ya, what wanna be ya? We're also getting rid of those clothes right there and then those pink boots right there and all those books back behind there. And this little play set because it doesn't fit anywhere. And then I need to throw these away. And then this little container. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? At this point in the series, I have lost count at how many clothes we have gotten rid of. I think in the boys' room it was 213. So this would bring it probably up to like 220, 225 maybe. I think I told you guys I would keep you updated on this rug from Ollie's. It was so soft when we got it, and it's still so soft. I was afraid it was going to mat a little bit, but it has not. And the girls are on it 24-7, and it's done perfect. So I would highly recommend this rug from Ollie's. I'm so excited because my toilet has never been clean enough for me to do that for y'all. <laughs> 
Okay, so we got this bag of stuff that is leaving. We also have those containers, that bag of stuff that's leaving, which is full of shoes and clothes, and a bag of trash. All this is leaving in my house from my kiddo's room. We got one more episode in this series and then we're done. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wait till you see the state of my house too. After I get done with the entire series, we're going to go back and we're going to see how well my house is doing from like start to finish. How well it's doing since we first started. And seeing if I'm keeping up with things. Seeing if we've gotten to a routine. I'm really excited. Because, spoiler alert, it's all off. Got one more episode. And that will be the closets. I am dreading it. But <laughs> I'm going to do the daggone thing. You best believe I'm going to do the daggone thing. Because I've already done so much of the daggone thing. I can't stop here. We ain't stopping here. Mm -mm, we don't come too far. Next time you see me, my hair will not look better. <laughs> It'll take me a few weeks for me to get it how I like it. So be prepared to see some funky looking hair color on me for the next like two weeks until I get it how I want it. There's a bunch of processes I want to go through and I want to let my hair rest in between those processes. So it'll be a couple of weeks until I get it how I want to. But I have a vision in my head and usually I can put my vision for my hair on in my mind and then put it on paper and on my head. And it looks really, really good. So here's hoping I have that kind of luck. But just be prepared. Like you think this is bad. Just wait till we get further into the process. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope that y'all are getting some spring cleaning done. And if not, if you don't want to do spring cleaning, I hope that you are more than content just sitting there watching me do spring cleaning. Maybe your house is so clean you don't have to do spring cleaning. I, you are goals. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you. But Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.